NBA show. And today is a Q&A weekend episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you have a question you want us to answer, just email us at contact at 100mba.net. Or you can tweet at me on Twitter at BizRepublic, B-I-Z Republic. That's my handle. As always, I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today's question comes from Marcus. Let me read you Marcus's question. I can't get myself to focus and get things done. How do I motivate myself to get going? That's a tough question, Marcus, but I'm happy to answer it and give you my honest answer. I get into it in today's episode, so let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by DaVinci Virtual Office Solutions. DaVinci Virtual provides awesome support solutions for mobile entrepreneurs. They level the playing field for your company so you can achieve maximum potential with minimum overhead. You can start playing big without paying big bucks. Have access to their friendly live receptionist services. Get a killer business address or book a fully loaded meeting space anywhere, anytime you need it. And best of all, there's no long-term contracts, no equipment to buy, no staff to hire. They make it super easy. And now you can get started with nothing to lose because DaVinci Virtual is giving listeners to The Hunter All MBA Show a risk-free trial. Just go to davincivirtual.com slash MBA. That's davincivirtual.com slash MBA. So Marcus says, I can't get myself to focus and get things done. How do I motivate myself to get going? All right, first of all, Marcus, this is not an uncommon issue. A lot of people have the same issue you're having right now. And I'm going to be completely honest with you because, again, I want to see you win and everything I say is from the heart. I really do want to help you out. So I'm going to give you an honest answer. First of all, I don't think it's a matter of motivation. I don't think you're not motivated because when you have to get things done, you don't really need to be pumped up for it. You're just out of habit. I'm actually reading a great book called The Power of Habit, and you really should check it out because it talks about how a lot of our actions are due to habits. They're not really due to uh, decisions that we make. And you might be in a bad habit cycle, and this is causing you a lack of focus, and you're not able to get things done. You're just in a bad habit cycle. And this could be the fact that you're on social media too much, maybe you're spending too much time on email, or maybe you're just not getting around to what you need to do. And my honest advice to you is you need to get serious with yourself. You need to sit down and list the things you want to get done, whatever that is, if that's creating a product or getting your website together or whatever it is. List the tasks, the specific tasks you have to do. So for example, if you're trying to get your website together, a specific task is nailing your headline, your headline that's on your homepage. So a specific task is not complete the homepage. There's so many aspects of the homepage. You need to get specific. So nail the homepage, uh, write down the exact script or the exact uh, write-up of your about page. Those are specific tasks and list them down. Once you have your task list, I would shut down every single distraction out there. Shut off your phone, shut off anything else on your browser. You know, if you're not designing your website uh, online, I would even cut your Wi-Fi, cut your internet. I know that sounds extreme, but you're in an extreme situation now. You can't get things done, so you got to take extreme measures and cut off any pretext, meaning you have to cut off any possibility of you not getting the work done. At this point, you don't have the structure that you need. I don't want to say you don't have the discipline because you're just in a bad habit. So you need to get out of that bad habit by forming new habits. And don't make forming new habits difficult on yourself. Make it easy by cutting off all the distractions. And then hit that task list one by one. Focus on each task, get it done, see it to completion, cross it off. Now, you might not get a whole lot of tasks done as you're getting started, but you'll get things done. You'll get two or three things done in a day, and that's enough for you to have some momentum. Now, when I talked about discipline, it's important for you to be disciplined about the consistency of this exercise. So the next day, cut off all distractions, get back to that list, and stop plowing through. If you put it in the context of forming new habits, you can understand how important it is to stay focused. For some people, you need to put a little pressure on yourself. Some of us, we don't do our best work or we don't do any work unless there is pressure. So if you're launching your website, make it public on social media, let people know what your launch date is and work towards that launch date. Make it public, hold yourself accountable. 
and know that you got to get those things on your task list done by that date. Don't be too liberal with that date. Don't say, oh, five months out, but don't have your deadline so close. Don't be too ambitious, like I'm going to launch in three days. Set a date, make it public, be accountable, and strive to meeting that deadline and make sure that you do. And know that you're going to launch your website regardless of how finished you are. Commit to that. Commit that to yourself. Even if you only have the homepage done and there's no about page, you committed to launching, you got to do it. And that's going to push you to make sure that you get things done. But if your launch day comes and you don't launch, you back out on your promise, then all of this doesn't matter. You fall into that poor habit again. Remember, you're in control. You can change the way you do things. So commit to good habits, commit to focusing, commit to removing all distractions. And you know what's going to happen is that once you actually get it done and you do complete these tasks, you're going to have this momentum. And then when you do launch on time, you're going to become a changed person. Those habits are going to change you and you're going to start liking the fact that you're sticking to deadlines and you're getting things done. And it's going to motivate you to keep on doing that in other areas of your business and your life. Guys, I got more on this topic, but before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, DaVinci Virtual. If you're a small business but want to be a big player in your market, then DaVinci Virtual is for you. DaVinci Office Solutions offers some big solutions for a very small price. Get your own team of friendly DaVinci receptionists to answer all your calls. Choose your killer business address from over a thousand iconic locations. Reserve day offices. You want to throw a meeting, you want to throw a meetup, you want to do an event. You can reserve meeting spaces online via their app when you need it and where you need it and you only pay for what you use. DaVinci helps entrepreneurs like you become something bigger. They give your business a powerful image and allow you to focus on your talents so you can grow. Plus, there's no long-term contracts, no equipment to buy, no staff to hire. And with DaVinci Virtual's risk-free trial that they're offering all $100 MBA listeners, you have nothing to lose. Just go to davincivirtual.com slash MBA to get that free trial. That's davincivirtual.com slash MBA. The last thing I want to say about this topic, uh, if you're finding yourself having a difficult time doing the work, you may want to examine the work itself. Maybe it's not your passion. Maybe it's something that you don't really enjoy. Maybe you're just in love with the idea of having a business, but the topic of your business is not really your forte. Maybe it's not something that you want to do for the rest of your life. Examine that. Maybe that's the issue. But if it isn't, then make sure you start forming some great habits when it comes to getting things done. I'm also going to include some resources in the show notes for today uh, that deal with productivity, that deals with focus. You can check that out at 100mba.net slash mba245. That's the show notes for today. If you're on your iPhone, you can just tap the cover art and you'll see our show notes right there. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. Remember, guys, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a question. We'd love to answer it. You can email us at contact at 100mba.net or you can tweet at me at bizrepublic, B-I-Z Republic. I would love to add your question to our list of questions for Q&A weekends. Guys, I want to leave you with this. I talked a bit about habits today and habits are a funny thing. Sometimes when you get into the habit of doing good work, you just can't stop doing it. You know, if I didn't have the habit of recording the $100 MBA show uh, consistently, there would be no podcast. So I'm fortunate to have built that habit. But that's the power of habits, that it can really serve you But be mindful of the fact that bad habits can do the same. And that could be a lack of exercise, that could be a lack of focus, or that could be even just not eating healthy. Be mindful of why you do the things you do. Is it a decision or out of habit? All right, guys, I hope that's helpful. And I hope to see you in tomorrow's episode, our second Q&A weekend episode. I'll check you then. Take care. Take care.